Here we have some problems that have to do with estimating or measuring with a protractor various angles. And since we're in an online school here, I thought I'd show you how to do this in an online environment, uh, such as Blackboard, or if you're not in Blackboard, you could do this in some image editing program. Uh, in the old days, we would have our assignments on paper and we would have a plastic protractor that we would pull out of our backpack and put it up against the paper and measure it that way. It's a little bit different in a virtual environment, and so I'll show you how to do that, or at least one method. Before we get into that, though, I, I want to make sure that everybody has an idea of um, what some basic angles look like. Uh, you need to know what a 90 degree angle looks like. Uh, if you do, that's going to make your job here a lot easier. I, I've got a circle up here, and you know, a circle, if we started here and we went all the way around the circle, that would be 360 degrees. 90 is right up here. So the angle formed between 0 and 90 degrees looks like that. So like an L. So that's, whoops, that's our 90 degree angle, or at least my drawn uh, version of it. If you go further out to 180, you actually get a straight line. And this is, even though it doesn't look like it, it is an angle. That's a straight angle it's called sometimes. So if we thought about the angles here, you know, this is a 90 degree angle. This angle we could represent like that. That's 180 degrees. And then if you go even further, another quarter around the circle, you end up at 270. So that angle would look like this, sort of um, inside out of the 90 degree angle. And the angle we're actually measuring here is this angle here. And that is 270 degrees. If you've got these three in your mind, and maybe a fourth one, let's, let's do one more. Half of 90 is 45. So let's say about here would be the 45 degree mark. And so if we were going to draw that angle, be something like that. So there is a 45 degree angle, or close enough. If you've got these in your head, as you're approaching these problems. There are a lot of these that you can answer without even pulling out a protractor. So let's try some of those. This first one down here says, which angle measures 53 degrees approximately? So I'm really looking for something between 90 and 45 and probably closer to a 45. Just scanning these, that's pretty easy. That's a straight angle, that's 180. This looks like it's bigger than 90. Uh, this looks like a 90 degree angle. This is the only one that could be 53. All right, let's look at this next one. Which angle measures approximately 121? Well, 121 is between 90 and 180. So it's going to be wider open than this 90 degree angle, but not all the way down to a straight line. The only one that fits there is this one. This one's the 90. This one's less than 90. This one's a straight angle. So some of these questions you don't even have to pull out the protractor for. Let's look at a couple where you do. Uh, this one says use a protractor, so we're being asked specifically to do that, to measure the angle, and which choice most accurately expresses the correct measure. Well, there are a couple of things that make this a little tricky uh, in a virtual environment. First of all, usually protractors that you use uh, with paper, they're made out of transparent plastic, so you can put them on top of it and see through. This isn't the, the case uh, with images you pull off of the internet, which is what I'm going to show you how to do here. Let me grab the image first. What I've done over here is just done a Google image search for protractors, and I chose the 360 degree variety because I know um, our angles here are bigger than 180. I think I'm going to choose this orange one. The reason I'm choosing this orange one is because it's got the zero on the left, or sorry, on the right. So uh, our angles are organized that way, so this will make it easier. Um, you could still, some of them start with 90 here. Um, you can still use them. You just have to do some counting and subtracting. But let me copy this image, and then I'm going to paste it right on the page here. Now, first of all, it's really, really big. So I need to shrink this down a little bit, but I have to be very careful that I do that proportionately. I don't want to shrink it sideways or up and down and not the other. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and shrink it like this so that I know it's staying the same shape. Okay, that looks like a little more reasonable size. Now, the other problem is that it covers up the problem. So I can't see the angle when I try to measure it. How are we going to get around that? Well, I'm going to move this protractor to the side. And 
everything is stacked in layers here. This problem is on the, on the bottom layer. The protractor is on the top right now. Anything I draw new is going to go above the top layer. So I'm just going to draw over these lines. So I'm going to make this line here, trying to make it as close as I can. And I'm going to draw this line here to make the angle, make them nice and long. All right, so now I've got my angle in there with new lines. I'm going to bring my protractor back. Aha, and what you see is the lines show. So I'm going to put the point right there at that center mark. And so here's zero. And then if we go all the way around to where this is pointing, we see that it's 190 something. So, and one of our choices is 192. So that looks like the right answer there. Yeah, the only other close one would be 237, so I don't think it's that. All right, let's try this next one. It says, uh, true or false, the measure of the angle is 283 degrees. So we're going to draw over those lines again. To recreate the angle. And let's see how this works. I might have to shrink this protractor some more. Yeah, I can't re quite read it down there, so I'm going to try to shrink this again, holding down the shift key, keep it proportional. Okay, that's better. We'll line that up. And it looks like 280. Well, if I were to read this exactly what it says here, it looks like 284, although this here isn't quite on zero. And, you know, when you redraw the lines, you introduce a slight bit of error, uh, unless you're really good at drawing those lines exactly as they were. So when I read this as 284, I'm going to actually answer this true, because it's close enough. They probably wouldn't um, have put a 284 degree angle on there and then said true or false, is it 283 and expect it false. So you can expect a little bit of error with this method, but uh, keep that in mind and use your common sense about the answers. So that is a little bit of work with estimating and using a protractor to measure angles.